if you get tired learn to rest not to quit this is a line which actually has been motivating me since years and i always tell students that never to quit yet the tiresome journey for becoming something in life is always taken to be taken for granted but i always tell students never to quit you may take rest but not to quit and it is very important students to follow your dreams to follow your heart and do something which excites you a lot i am dr anurag agarwal professor in english and this is oisn academy of english since 1998 for the students who are watching me live today i feel immense pleasure again to tell that the 2020 examination for upsc mains in english would be in this year and only few months are left so my students are doing well through their online classes live classes and today i am here in front of you to tell you that all those students who are wishing to qualify the ies mains examination 2020 or even if they are preparing for 2021 even if they are not in my class even if they wish to take my online classes the test series is going to start and the students have been searching for the best test series of upsc mains pan india but they don't get that real quality so osn academy is the single destination in the country where you are getting taught by me and yes i teach students in a way which makes you that level of confidence which i assure students you will not be getting anywhere actually your own studies which you are doing your self preparation will only work when you have that test series with you so today i am in front of you students to talk about the most dignified exam and the talk of the nation which is always a dream for every student to become an ias officer and the union public service commission which is known as upsc which is what which is a constitutional body and this institute this body recruits the candidates for the various post through a very rigorous examination process and which goes on almost for a year and getting into the civil services is extremely difficult extremely for the coveted post of ias which is the top choice of most of the aspirants and today as an expert for ias mains or ugc net or any examination concerned with literature my students who are watching me here must feel motivated that now if you have the dream you can compete any examination under the guidance of osn academy fine so i'll be discussing with you certain tips certain things that what you have to take care for these examinations and be with this video till the last because i'm also going to teach you in brief about what is the meaning of test series and what i give in my test series and what are the original papers who which are solved by me and which you also get from time to time this is something very important and yes a very important question which comes to your mind always that is it possible to crack ias mains or ugc net english through online live classes this is the first question i am 100% sure you must be thinking always sandeep good morning all of my students you may come on my screen for any questions this is a live session for all the english literature students and they may ask any number of questions regarding any of their examination whether it is is pcs ugc net tgt pgt state level or even dssb for those students who are taking the class or who wish to take the class for pgt kvs pgt dssb they may take my online live classes and day before yesterday only two days before i have started a new batch and the net students may also take the admission in the new batch as well as is mains ke liye ye jo lecture hai ye focused hai but all those students who belong to the english uh, english community they must all see this lecture till the end because you are going to get a lot of excessive knowledge through this lecture okay students 
So I answer you that yes, it is possible to crack any examination in the country with online live classes. Why students, why it is possible? Earlier, it was a myth that only physical classes are important to qualify these high level examinations. But because of the dearth of teachers, because of lot of expense, because of lot of problems in the society, traffic, hostel facilities, finance and so many things. 80% of the physical classes have changed into the online mode and the students are so happy that they can commute with these classes anytime as per their wish. And because I teach them online live classes, live is the only class in India in English literature where the students talk to me directly and they can communicate with me and they can ask any questions regarding their queries. So this is the best. So now in this era of technology students, we can access the location. We can take the advantage through the, our mobile phones, through our laptops. And yes, cracking IS is a, not a piece of cake. Why? Because it needs mental patience. It needs incredible hard work. And live classes provide them the timetable and the best mode to design their schedule accordingly. Now, the second question which comes to my mind for you students is that the study materials of IS mains or UGC net, is it sufficient? Is it good enough? Yes, because my study material which I have prepared through my expertise and experience of 20-21 years, that is something which is indispensable students. Why? Because apart from the descriptive knowledge of every topic of the UPSC mains, it gives you the reference to context. It gives you the best answers with quality, with understanding, with the, uh, you know, uh, the blending of the history of English literature. Why? Because the students don't know that how to write these answers of IS mains. And yes, today I am going to talk more about the test series because many students only want the test series to be solved. And how these test series are going to help you this crack this exam. See, her exam ka sabse important component hota hai test series. And that has to be dealt with a lot of passion, hard work and dedication in mind. So once you have prepared your system, then every student needs to be uh, checked by a scholar, by a professor who has a deep understanding and knowledge of this exam. And yes, the test series which we are going to be to provide it to you help the students to understand the pattern of the framing of the answers and how to articulate it in a very ornamental language. And you have also to take care about the grammar portion and about the rhetorical skills. And there is no doubt about it that the test series boosts up your confidence. Whether it is the test series of uh, IS means UGC net, PGT or any examination. Test series always remains a vital and the most you know sought after thing for any student. And today which what I am talking about is that our test series of IS means or any other examination actually releases the stress of the vast syllabus given to the students. So if you want to check your system and you want to release your stress, ko release karna hai. otherwise you will understand how we are getting the marks, where we are mistake, kar rahe hai, what should be added to it, what next to be done for it. It is only possible when I check your copies and mark it with a red point that yes, it is good, this has to be corrected, this is a problem, this is a problem, hai. you have to write it this. And then, if you start your test series much, much beforehand, then only it is possible that you can excel in your examination. Fine students, so, uh, uh, Mona Lisa, hello, good afternoon, Mona Lisa. Seema, good afternoon, Pragya, good afternoon. Uh, I'll come back to, again, uh, the test series. See, now, one of the questions which I'm going to ask is, for, from your end, that kaun si hume strategy lagani chahiye? What are the strategies which a student should follow in preparing this most coveted examination in the country? See, 
चाहे कोई भी एग्जाम हो स्टूडेंट्स हमें आप जो भी स्टूडेंट्स देख रहे हैं वो किसी भी लेवल के हों सक्सेस हमको तभी मिलती है जब आप उसको बहुत अच्छे तरीके से ढूंढ रहे हैं सक्सेस डज नॉट कम टू पीपल हु आर जस्ट लिथार्जिक हु आर जस्ट वाइलिंग देयर टाइम डूइंग एंड नंबर ऑफ थिंग्स बट ओनली थिंकिंग दैट आई वन डे विल कम वेन आई विल गेट सक्सेस सो सक्सेस कम्स टू दोज हु आर टू बिजी लुकिंग फॉर इट आपको उसको ढूंढना पड़ेगा आपको उसको देखना पड़ेगा एंड हार्ड वर्क डेडिकेशन कॉन्सेंट्रेशन एंड प्रैक्टिस ये चार वर्ड्स हमेशा याद रखिएगा स्टूडेंट्स एंड इफ आई एस इज योर ड्रीम आई एम श्योर योर मेंटल लेवल योर विजन मस्ट ऑल्सो बी वेरी हाई बियॉन्ड द स्काई लिमिट्स एंड येस इफ स्टूडेंट्स यू हैव सेट दैट लिमिट्स यू शुड नो how to work how to uh, go ahead step by step and for an amateur it would be no less than catching a train when it has already left the station for those students who possess the writing skills who excel in the ornamental language who have a deep understanding of knowledge of literature and a burning desire to day delve into the intense world of literature and language can actually command this exam and don't forget students practice makes a man perfect always remember and for practice only the students take the test series if you are not practicing you are not going to be getting that level of perfection if you have to speak speak proper in front of the mirror so that when it comes to the interview you are able to speak without any shyness without any stammering and without any nervousness so oisen academy students is a platform where you can fulfill all your dreams regarding any examination which you are thinking about whether it may be a small examination whether it may be a examination like the ielts level now students चंदन गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द टेस्ट सीरीज सपोज इफ आई टेक द ओरिजिनल क्वेश्चन टूडे एक बार आई एस मेन्स में क्वेश्चन आया था स्टूडेंट्स उसका उसमें क्वेश्चन में था कि यू हैव टू राइट एन एस एन वर्ड्सवर्थ मिस्टिसिज्म अंडरस्टैंड स्टूडेंट्स वर्ड्सवर्थ मिस्टिसिज्म जो क्वेश्चन है द स्टूडेंट्स मस्ट हैव रेड दिस इन बी ए पार्ट वन ऑल्सो पार्ट टू पार्ट थ्री एम ए फाइनल एवरी ईयर and in this question you have to write an essay on wordsworth mysticism but with a special reference to tintern abbey and ode on intimation of immorality fine so now how will you write this question there are hundreds of students who will write in hundreds of ways but i will share you that if you are going to be my student you will excel and you will write what i have been teaching because the level of elevation the level of grandeur the level of sublimity the level of you know uh, sonority uh, with rhetoric with grammar with excellence all blended into one and still it will remain very uh, free flow that is the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings which words with uh, wishes so hamare jo questions hote hain ya jo hamare answers hote hain jo main students ko sikhata hu padhata hu unko deta hu that is very very different from the books which you read in the market from the guides which you read in the market those are actually only going to give you some knowledge but not enough to make you reach to that level of excellence so for example if i take this question that is uh, essay on wordsworth mysticism uh, i would say that if i am going to start this answer i would say that yes wordsworth as a poet of nature was a great poetic uh, poet who was known for his multi dimensionality he was a multi dimensional person and he was also the chief proponent of the ideals of the romantic renaissance and the thread of divinity which is running through the souls of things lends them brevity and charm which impart pleasure to the senses and which has also been transcending beyond the perceptual 
and the intellectual understanding of things. And this mysticism and transcendentalism is reflected in his immortal poetic renderings. So see, the lines which I have uh, taken just now, it is much different from the things normally with the students write. And what the students write, it is just like a, a BA student or a MA student writing, which every student writes. So you don't need to have a feeling of Tom, Dick and Harry. You have to be different from the Tom, Dick and Harry uh, language. And the poetic, uh, the poem, Tintin Abbey, which is, if you have read this poem, with its five summers, with the length of five long winters, at the very outset, has the role of indelible reminiscences in the spiritual growth of man and the awakening of his soul, which the poem later reveals you. And the beauty and the exquisite charm of the wild gives way to thoughts of more deep seclusion. The wreaths of smoke sent up in silence and the prospect of the vagrant dwellers of some hermit's cave is actually a testimony of some divine force at work bringing uh, the union of nature and humanity. Wordsworth's mysticism is also evident when he says that the soul and body feels rejuvenated by the past memories which sustain them. If you remember the lines from this poem, usme aap padhiyega poem mein hai kuch jaise aapko jab answer likh rahe hain to aapko code bhi karna hoga. For example, there are few lines which actually, uh, you know, incorporates this feeling which I am telling. Until uh, the breath of this corporeal frame and even in the motion of our human blood, almost suspended, we are laid asleep in body and become a, uh, become a living soul. So, beech beech mein aapko quotes bhi dalne honge. And in the poem, he prays for his sister and tells her about nature's magnanimity and unbounded benediction which leads from joy to joy. And usne kaha hai Wordsworth ne, nature never did betray the heart that loved her. You have to fall in love with nature. And nature is the god of plenty whose blessings do not let the evil tongues, rash judgments, and sneers of selfish men shake our equanimity of mind or disturb our cheerful faith. And it is only due to his faith in the divine, ye uska faith hi hai divinity pe, that even a common sight seems to him apparelled in the celestial light. Usko a common cheech bhi lagti hai jaise wo bhagwan ka roop hai. And his mysticism comes to the fore when he tells about uh, the heaven rejoining in the joy of earthly creatures. Usme ek line hai intimations mein, jahan pe Wordsworth ne kaha hai, our birth is just, uh, is but asleep and a forgetting, the soul that rises with our life star had else health where it's setting. Cloud of glory do we come from God who is our home. So in this way, you get benefit of getting much more marks from the from the pen of the professors when you write like this. So, hum kya dekhte hai students ki Wordsworth's vision of nature was constantly and constantly spiritual. Agar aapne mera ek lecture suna hoga, humne IS, jab mein padhaya hai, mene class mein bhi, to usme bhi mene students ko bataya hai ki Wordsworth had four stages of nature of his life. First stage, second stage, third stage, fourth stage. So in the third stage, he basically became very spiritual. And when he fourth stage, mein pahuncha, then he had that brooding communion with nature. And he not only loved nature, but he glorified. And he divinized also. He divinized also. He divinized also. He prophet, ban gaya, seer. Ban gaya. And his worship and adoration of nature was never inspired by passion for aesthetic beauty, elegance and splendor. 
all forms, all objects, all aspects and appearance of nature, whether graceful, lovely or magnificent or somber, awe inspiring, stimulate his visionary images, imagination. Uske imagination was stimulate kar de thi. And they are the living emblems and the images of the divine spirit. So students, if you are, uh, if you are watching me here live, so I would say that you may ask any questions which is coming to your mind so that immediately I can solve your answer and today, from today onwards, you can be a part of your dream where you have to go, whether you have to qualify any examination, you may be, uh, you may be purposeful in your life and always remember one thing which, is, which has been my experience of 20 years that the students for qualifying any examination must not wait for their post-graduation to finish, for something to finish because then time never waits. It will never come students and the examination because it is competitive you have to compete with thousands and lakhs of students. So never believe ki aapko pehle hum ye exam apna proper MA kar le ya BA kar le tab hum ye kare. Those who have to become something in life, they have to start much, 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 much earlier. For example, mein aapko isse ek, uh, uh, ek example de kar ke batata hu. Aas se 10, 15, 20 varsh pehle, jab hamare desh mein bachche IIT, PMT qualify karte the, तो याद करिए वो बच्चे 11th या 12th के बाद या उस समय किसी कोचिंग में जाते थे या उसकी तैयारी शुरू करते थे आज देखिए हालत ये हो गई है कि एग्जाम वही है सब कुछ वही है कंपटीशन बढ़ गया है तो स्टूडेंट्स जिनको पता है कि मुझे आईटी पीएमटी निकालना है जिनको पता है कि मुझे आईएएस करना है जिनको पता है कि हमें ये एग्जाम निकालना है एंड दे हैव दैट नॉलेज उनकी फैमिली उनके पेरेंट्स उनके टीचर्स उनके आसपास का एनवायरनमेंट थोड़ा सा नॉलेजेबल है या उनको बाय चांस अच्छे टीचर्स का सानिध्य मिल जाता है तो हमेशा हमेशा ये बताया जाएगा कि यू हैव टू स्टार्ट मच बिफोर तो so, आज आईटी पीएमटी के हमारे देश के बच्चे आप देखिए एट्थ नाइन्थ और टेंथ क्लास से ही बड़े बड़े इंस्टीट्यूट में जाने लगे हैं सो दैट दे मे बी एबल टू क्वालिफाई इन द फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट और द सेकेंड अटेम्प्ट क्योंकि अगर इन्होंने लेट से शुरुआत की सो so, पॉसिबिलिटी उसकी बड़ी कम हो जाती है सो द सेम थिंग हैपन्स विद एनी एग्जाम हम बार बार स्टूडेंट से यूजीसी नेट के भी कहते हैं कि द डे यू एंटर इन योर एम ए प्रीवियस स्टार्ट योर ड्रीम दैट इफ यू हैव टू बिकम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर यू हैव टू स्टार्ट बिकॉज अगर आप पूरा एम ए कंप्लीट भी कर लेते हैं तो भी यू आर कंप्लीटिंग जस्ट टेन टू फिफ्टीन परसेंट ऑफ योर एम ए इंग्लिश कोर्स एंड दैट इज वाई अ लॉट ऑफ वैक्यूम इज क्रिएटेड वंस यू कंप्लीट योर एम ए एंड देन यू गो फॉर सच अई लेवल कोर्स सो बच्चा जो है थोड़ा सा डिप्रेस भी होता है सप्रेस भी होता है और उसको बड़ी परेशानी होती है कोकअप करने में और जो हमारे स्टूडेंट्स होते हैं जो हमारे सर टच में हैं, जिन्होंने हमारी क्लासेस भी ली है ऑफलाइन ऑनलाइन या वो स्टडी मटेरियल भी पढ़ रहे हैं सो दे आर बेसिकली इन टू दैट वर्सिटैलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग दैट लेवल ऑफ एक्वायर्ड नॉलेज व्हिच इज नॉट पॉसिबल स्टूडेंट्स सो सागर हाय सर गुड आफ्टरनून प्रणाम कुछ नहीं है सागर uh, अच्छा सागर आप ओडिशा से हैं uh, नमस्कार नमस्कार हेलो सर आई एम प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यू जी सी नेट जी आर एफ एग्जाम जून ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी ओके वेलकम ऑल इफ यू स्टूडेंट्स हियर एंड आई होप टुडे मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स विल बी वेरी हैप्पी टू गेट एज आई हैव बीन ऑलवेज इन टेलिंग इन ऑल माई लेक्चर्स फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम अपडेटिंग यू एवरी टाइम दैट टाइम इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट प्रेशियस थिंग्स इन लाइफ तो जो समय होता है जो घड़ी हमारी होती है उसको एक हीरे के हार की तरह अपने गले में पहन लीजिए और घड़ी को ऐसे देखते रहिए कि समय जा रहा है एंड इट इज अ ब्लेसिंग एग्जैक्टली इट इज अ ब्लेसिंग स्टूडेंट्स दैट इफ यू गेट ओ एस एन अकेडमी ऑफ इंग्लिश ऑफ मैनेजमेंट ऑफ होम साइंस ऑफ एच आर ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स बिकॉज नाउ वी आर इन टू टेन डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट बिकॉज वी ऑलवेज बिलीव टू गेट द क्वालिटी एजुकेशन पैन इंडिया स्टूडेंट्स विच आई बीन नर्चरिंग so students who are watching me of english students who have their friends in the different other subjects they can actually help them give them that yes this is the place where you can bank upon for the best education so students uh, sagar 
सर पेपर प्रिपेयर फॉर यूजीसी नेट पेपर टू एजुकेशन सागर एजुकेशन सब्जेक्ट इज इन द पाइपलाइन वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड द सोशियोलॉजी वी हैव स्टार्टेड द मैनेजमेंट कॉमर्स एचआर होम साइंस एंड एजुकेशन फिलोसफी पॉलिटिकल साइंस इकोनॉमिक्स साइकोलॉजी मास कम्युनिकेशन ज्योग्राफी एंड अदर सब्जेक्ट्स आर इन पाइपलाइन ओके फाइन स्टूडेंट्स सो आप जो भी स्टूडेंट्स हमें देख रहे हैं जिनको यूजीसी नेट की प्रिपरेशन करनी है या जिनको आई एस मेन्स करना है जिनको पी जी टी डी डी एस एस पी या टी जी टी या के वी एस करना है दे कैन कॉन्टैक्ट मी दे कैन टॉक टू मी दे कैन व्हाट्सएप मी सो गेट टू गेट द डिटेल्स एंड दे मस्ट ज्वाइन एज सुन एज पॉसिबल फॉर द कमिंग एग्जामिनेशन माई सब्जेक्ट इज इंग्लिश लिटरेचर ये पांडे योर सब्जेक्ट इज इंग्लिश so do one thing after this session uh, you just uh, whatsapp me on this given number my number is given there 9935058417 i'll guide you and how you have to join i'll tell you everything any more question students whatever your queries are you may ask me because live sessions bahut hi kya kehte hain beneficial hote hain aur bahut rare hote hain aur bahut keemti hote hain students isliye हमारी जो क्लासेस यूजीसी नेट की होती है या पीजीटी की होती है या आई की होती है उसमें सबसे बड़ी फायदा यह है कि यू कैन टॉक टू मी डायरेक्टली और अगर आप मेरे क्लास में एब्सेंट भी हैं तो कोई बात नहीं वो लाइव सेशन जो होते हैं वो ऑटोमेटिक रिकॉर्डेड पैनल में वहीं पे होते हैं एंड यू कैन सी इट दैट सेम क्लास एनी टाइम एज यू विश ओके स्टूडेंट सो आई थिंक देर आर नो मोर क्वेश्चन ऑल ऑफ यू है uh good day and best wishes students thank you ha dikh ha ha are you come in live class bahar